pushing the bounds of engineering. The Gordie Howe International Bridge between the U.S. and Canada is set to become the longest cable state bridge in North America and the fifth longest cable state bridge in the world. The new bridge will offer more capacity, network connectivity, improved border procedures, and the ability to expand trading between both countries. Residents on both sides of the border watched as the bridge deck stretched over the water to meet in the middle, and now, construction of the bridge is nearly complete. But the opening of the long-awaited bridge has been pushed back, with an extra $700 million added to the price tag. When construction was launched in September 2018, the bridge was scheduled to be complete by the end of 2024. But now it is expected to open in September 2025, a delay of 10 months. So what's going on with the Gordie Howe Bridge, and why has it been a struggle to build it? Let's find out! Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The largest trading partnership in the world is between the US and Canada. With $664 billion worth of trade in 2021, Canada surpassed China as the US's biggest trading partner. Detroit and Windsor account for nearly a fifth of all trade, and over $300 million worth of commodities are transported daily between the two cities. Therefore, improving the infrastructure along this corridor was deemed essential to maintaining and boosting trade, reducing transportation costs, and improving competitiveness in the global market. At this busy commerce route with traffic crossing the border expected to grow significantly by 2025, the new Gordie Howe Bridge will provide an orderly flow of people and goods between USA and Canada. It will offer a new crossing, highway-to-highway -highway links, and updated border processing facilities. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is being developed through a public-private partnership between Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority and Bridging North America, and it will be publicly owned by the governments of Canada and Michigan. Proposed nearly two decades ago, this project is named after Canadian ice hockey player Gordie Howe, whose celebrated career included 25 years with the Detroit Red Wings, and who died two years before construction of the bridge began. Initially, the bridge project was conceptualized and began as the Detroit River International Crossing in 2004. The bridge was originally anticipated to be finished by 2016, but construction was first delayed as a result of Canada's rejection of a $550 million allocation. In 2012, the federal government of Canada declared funding for the bridge's construction and provided $25 million towards the purchase of land on the Detroit side. The following year, the U.S. Department of State granted Michigan the permit required to build the bridge, and the Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority was selected to operate the bridge. Then in 2017, Following a meeting between the newly elected U.S. President Donald Trump and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, the two governments reiterated support for the speedy completion of the bridge, and the following year, a groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of the Gordie Howe Bridge was held. Taking a look at some of the features of the Gordie Howe Bridge, there are four components to the bridge. They are the bridge by itself, the Canadian Port of Entry, the U.S. Port of Entry, and the Michigan Interchange. The Gordie Howe Bridge includes a 1.5-mile span over the Detroit River and two approach bridges. Two 220-meters-tall A-shaped towers are built on either side of the Detroit River, and a pair of 425-meters-long cantilevers are constructed in the middle. The two massive towers are designed to resemble the curvature of an ice hockey stick to honor the legendary hockey player Gordie Howe. The structure is held up by a series of cables fanning out directly from two main towers, which bears the weight of the road. Once complete, the bridge will include six motor vehicle lanes, with three each traveling to the US and Canada, and an 11-foot wide, foot and bike path. This project comes at a crucial time for American infrastructure, as bridges all across the country are reaching the end of their lifespan. The Gordie Howe Bridge project also includes new ports of entry that will connect to both the American and Canadian bridge termini. 
The new Canadian port of entry is built on a 130-acre site and will be the largest Canadian port on the U.S.-Canadian border. The U.S. port of entry is developed on a 167-acre site and will be one of the largest border facilities in North America. Both ports of entry will contain inbound and outbound inspection facilities, and the plazas will be large enough to add processing facilities if necessary. An updated Michigan Highway Interchange adds five new pedestrian walkways and four new overpasses. Key intersections will be widened to improve the flow of traffic for trucks and other transport vehicles, and better connect I-75 and the U.S. Port of Entry. With all of these important components to build, you might have expected the construction to progress swiftly. But the project has been met with multiple challenges right from the start. The bridges that connect Windsor in Canada and Detroit in USA are some of the most important pieces of infrastructure in the North American region. They're so important that there's been a kind of competition underway to build the best one. One of these is the Ambassador Bridge, which is located only a few miles from the brand new Gordie Howe Bridge. Manuel Moron, the owner of the Ambassador Bridge, has repeatedly sought to block the construction of the Gordie Howe Bridge citing it as illegal due to trespassing on the family land, but it was mostly because it would take away 75% of trade traffic which currently utilized the Ambassador Bridge. Back in the day, this trade corridor was a major source of revenue for Maroon, and when the Gordie Owl was first proposed, he sued the governments of Canada and USA, and spent millions of dollars trying to pass a ballot measure to hinder approval for the new bridge. He proposed building a second stretch of the Ambassador Bridge which he would own, and also went to the extent of running a television advert asking President Trump to block construction of the new bridge. Despite this conflict, the Gordie Howe Bridge project was approved and construction is now well underway. However, the bridge is currently 10 months behind schedule and $700 million over budget. Funded by the Canadian government, the previous cost estimate was 5.7 billion Canadian dollars and the bridge was to be finished in November 2024. But recently, the Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority revised the cost up to 6.4 billion Canadian dollars and pushed completion back to September 2025 due to unprecedented disruptions caused by the pandemic. The authority referred to hundreds of emergency and executive orders affecting the project issued during the pandemic by the province of Ontario and the state of Michigan. As for construction progress, 2023 was a year of rapid progress on the scheme. The team installed over 130 of the bridge's 216 cables, and the towers reached their full height of 220 meters. The project was able to continue that same level of progress in 2024. In June 2024, a major milestone in the project was reached when the main deck of the bridge was finally connected in the middle of the Detroit River. The event was marked by a topping out ceremony where workers from both sides of the border signed the final segment of the deck and placed a traditional evergreen tree in the middle, which symbolizes a job well done. Meanwhile, the installation of all 216 stake cables of the bridge has also been completed. At the moment, work continues on the installation of structural steel and concrete panels. The remaining work includes the lighting systems installation and instrumentation systems installation, including a bridge monitoring system, weather station, fire alarm system, security systems, and an intelligent transportation system to enhance traffic management efficiency. Traffic and wayfinding sign installation and road surface marking also needs to be completed. In addition, the point of entry agency buildings as well as the concrete for the connecting Interstate 75 ramps will be completed before finishing the bridge and conducting operational tests in 2025. The entire project along with both of the facilities on either side of the border is currently set to open in September 2025. Considering the obstacles faced during the pandemic and the size and complexity of the Gordie Howe International Bridge project, the project team is pleased that the impact to the construction schedule is limited to only 10 months beyond the original contracted completion date. 
As the whole world eagerly waits to see the completion of this remarkable feat of engineering, we hope that the bridge will open in 2025 as scheduled without further delays. What are your thoughts on this mega project? Leave your ideas in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.